Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast back at it after a couple of weeks of absence here. Uh, we are back jumping into new Pokemon Snap here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I gotta remember where I last left off. I think we left off in the Florio Nature Park still. We haven't, we haven't escaped this first course, uh, so to speak. But we did unlock this Illumina, Illu Illumina spot. I'm never gonna pronounce that correctly, but let's dive in, shall we? So let's load in here. Like I said, it has been a couple of weeks uh, since I last recorded anything, let alone new Pokemon Snap. So let's dive back in, try to get <laughs> the hang of it again. It's a pretty simple game to get the hang of. It'll, you know, it's like riding a bike. It's not like you're getting thrown into a match, an online multiplayer matchmaking lobby or something crazy. It's just, you know. It's just kind of scrolling around and taking pictures. Ooh. Alright, so this is where we're going to start seeing uh, glowing Pokemon, I believe. I believe that's the situation we're in right now. I don't think I've seen any glowing Pokemon up to this point. Yoo-hoo! Oh, crap. What was the, uh... If I can get him to turn around. Him, her. Hey, jerk. Turn around. Are there... I was gonna say, are there gonna be... Other... Pokemon in the region? Or am I just snapping 62 pictures... Of this... This pretty thing. I can't even get this thing to turn around, though. I'm trying to get all of it in frame. Got 45 shots left. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing else. This reminds me... Ooh. No zoom in required at this point. This reminds me a lot of the, uh... The cloud level, or the rainbow level. From the original Pokemon Snap on Nintendo 64. Where literally the entire course was just trying to snap a picture of Mew. Which took me until I was an adult to find out how to actually take a solid picture of Mew. I was watching a video, um... And off it goes. And off it goes. I think it was from G4, or B4 G4 content. Uh, for anybody who knows me, knows I'm a big fan of G4, and I'm super stoked that G4 TV is coming back. Um, but they did a video when New Pokemon Snap released. And, uh, it was like... Pokemon Snap, the original on Nintendo 64, was like a fan favorite, and it's nostalgic for a lot of people, but doesn't still hold up, right? And they were basically, they basically said no, but, um, they said like, oh yeah, nobody, nobody, it's literally impossible to get a good picture of Mew, and like, up until maybe like a year ago, uh, I would have also agreed with that, but then suddenly, I don't, I can't tell you how to do it right off the you know, whatever. But if you look at my full Let's Play of the original Pokemon Snap, I do figure it out. I forget what I did to get a picture. You have to, like, throw things at it, I think. Um, to get it to turn around, you have to hit it, like, two or three times, and then it floats by. I scored, like, a really awesome picture of Mew. Can I not select any of these? Oh. Oh. Oh, so it wasn't illuminated back? Okay, it's interesting. Oh, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait.
No, 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 no. I wanted to. Oh, there we go. That's right. <laughs> okay, so a bunch of terrible pictures, bunch of terrible pictures, running away, running away. So it's not. It, it's trying to say that this it's not illuminated right now. Okay, so now it is. I think this is the best picture so far. No. But wait, I want to make sure I get the best possible picture. I think this one's better, truth be told. Um, <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it. And then the crystal bloom, I only took one picture of it. I didn't actually know I was supposed to take pictures of the crystal bloom. Because I think I did in previous run-throughs of this uh, nature park, but I guess because it wasn't nighttime and it wasn't the Illumina spot, uh, they didn't count. A new I don't know. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. So this is going to be a solid picture, I think. Yeah, baby, that might be a new record. And then the Krista Bloom. Which is just, you know, doesn't get a grade. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so at the Illumina spot, we leveled up to level 2. Does that mean we can go back in, or... Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. I'm thinking we can go back to that Illumina spot. Best. Oh, you got a score of 5,000 points or more on a photo evaluation. Word. Nice pose, you got 1,000. Ba -ba -da. Gentle wonder. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I got a filter? Okay. See, I'm not really into that, all that crap. Like. Okay, cool. I'm not into, like, the photo filters and editing them and putting, like, emojis on. I'm not really into that part of the game. Uh, I'm just here for, like, the core. You know, the core gameplay. Now that we've the uh, we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I kind of just want to save the one that I actually... Hold on. Uh. Yeah, no, I think I like that one. That's all. Alright, so we're going to return to camp now. The retry menu. Alrighty. So we're going to go back, and there's something that they're going to share with me. I think I can probably go back into that uh, Illumina map, or course, or whatever. And this time there will be more than just that one Pokemon, I would guess, now that I'm level 2. Uh, yes, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Rita. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. Ahem, moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meg Meganium? Megan Meganium? I'm gonna call it Meganium. Uh, was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Wow. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they supposedly say Lentil, uh, save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns to glow with unusual light, or and to glow with unusual light. It sounds like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. 
and discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Fade to black. Okay. Is this tomorrow? Morning. Yeah, okay. Good morning. Uh, did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived uh, than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Heck yeah! Well? <laughs> Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Ooh boy, we got a team badge, baby. <laughs> Onto the hat. Which is backwards. I should probably have my hat backwards. It's like you were born to wear it. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Hmm. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need a couple more things, or I need to get a couple more things uh, ready first. <laughs> oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Which is literally right now. All right, so we got some more swag. Oh, we got the team badge. Uh, you officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. That profile icon. You officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the research. Like I said, I think we can tackle that Illumina um, course a second time. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. The Apple! The legendary Pokemon Snap Apple! As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yeah. Yes, sir. You throw them, you dumb Pokemon with them. <laughs> As is tradition, you just wing them at the back of their heads. That'll get their attention. Uh, but is it just me? Or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, he just fades away. Oh, well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. So this is... This is a fluff fruit. It's an apple. Uh, they grow here in the Lentil region. It's an apple. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. Wow. They may look like just like regular apples. They're apples. But they're way lighter and softer, so you can throw them at the back of Pokemon's heads and they won't notice. They won't care. <laughs> You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss uh, it one of these. All right. Let's get you some practice. Dome this Pokemon. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Okay. Well, I'm using a pro controller, but I think it's going to be pretty much the same. You can throw a fluff root. I'm just going to call them apples. I'm never going to call it a fluff root. Uh, by pressing B. Give it a try. Oh, I can't move. I just have... There you go. It doesn't actually let you aim it. Otherwise, it would have domed Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, no. It's pretty straightforward. Yo, Pikachu! I'm gonna dumb the crap out of this Pikachu right now. Oh, no, it... There we go. Oh, they don't? Can I take a picture, please? I don't think I have a good picture of Pikachu. And there's literally a Pikachu right here at the base camp. Right? So it would be swell if I could just take a picture for the photo decks real quick. But, whatever. Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. 
So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out Fluffroot and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Hello. Finished explaining? He just slides in real quick. Uh, I see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what you, we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Len Talk? Oh. It rings a bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool folks here in the Lentil use. Uh, Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Len Talk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. Huh. That sounds super fun! <laughs> Look for Len Talk messages in the top right. Uh, of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. Okay. So we're gonna jump right back into research. Okay, so let's go back to the, f the nature park. I guess we'll do... We'll do all three again, but I don't know. I kind of regret this now. I was going to say, we'll, we'll do all three again, but now that I have the fluff fruit, the apples, um, we should be able to get some better pictures. I wish I knew which Pokemon I should be looking for. Can I knock one out of the air? Hey, you. Gronky. Where did the Gronky and Pichu go? All right, so we got a picture of Alright, so it seems these apples are definitely less uh, abusive than, you know, they were back in the original Pokemon Snap. Oh, I just missed a little flying squirrel guy. Anybody over here that I can... I don't know if there are any Pokemon specifically that I got I didn't get a good picture of. Uh, I think Pichu still has a bunch of miserable pictures. If I can get Pichu to come out, we're going to be in really good shape, but I don't... Oh. Yes! Yes, Pichu, yes! Now we're in business, baby. Alright, that's good enough. What's up? Do you want one too? Here. Oh, crap. I missed. Sorry. Badoof. Um. Oops. Pressed the wrong button. Can I turn this, uh... Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. We just gotta hit it with an apple. Oh. Let's see what else we can get. I think that's a pretty solid... That might be the best picture of Magikarp that I've gotten. So they are pretty much unfazed. Let me dome this bird right here. I don't like that it uh, doesn't do cool stuff. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like it, it, In the first Pokemon Snap, you could dome a Pokemon like that.
And, like, you could anger them. You know what I mean? Like, you could anger them by hitting them in the face. And that was cool. <laughs> if that makes sense. Now it's, like, it doesn't feel very impactful. Like, when you throw something at it, you're either feeding the Pokemon or you're doing nothing. You're not really disturbing them. And causing them to do different attacks. Uh, it doesn't seem... I mean, I guess you could maybe lead them like you could in the first one. But the apples just don't seem quite as uh, effective, I'd say. Because they're soft and light, or whatever they called it, or said about them. Uh, How would your research go? I can't wait to see if you found anything new. I don't think I found anything new. I definitely got some pictures that were better. Oh, you could do auto? I don't know if I want to do that, though. <laughs> Alright, so there's my original. This one's for sure better. I'll do it just because it's a waste not to do it, but I don't think that one's gonna be beat out any beat out anything. Um okay, so we got our first no, we're going to do the two-star one. Oh, no, we did get that good picture of Pichu. Although, if we can get a, a two-star... Which I think we can... What the heck is that? Was that Pokemon? Look at those legs! The talons are coming down. Is that trying to scoop up Pichu? Which one's the best picture, though? None of them are great. I think that one's the best, though. Bidoof! Either this one or this one. This one, this one is centered better, but none of them are great because they have the grass in front. Let's do that one. Magic Carp. I'm pretty confident. That's a terrible picture, but I'm pretty confident that we got a decent picture on that one. Maybe edit, crop it a little bit, but. You know. I don't even want to waste my time doing that, but I'll do it. Just because, why not? Okay. Let's show the professor. Pro the yeah, professor's evaluation. <laughs> Park during the day. Alright, let's have a look. Nice work. The Boofalant. It's better in every way. Huh. Which one do you want? I wonder. Yeah, the Bufalant is almost... We almost got, like, maximum capacity. We need a four-star one. Which, maybe the four-star is, like, the Lumina picture, if that makes sense? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Nice work. Nice work. But not as good. In any way. So we're gonna stick with the photo decks file. Wormple. The Wormple Stiltskin. Okay, so that's a new one, so guaranteed photo decks status. Boom. I think it was just angry because I threw an apple at it. Uh so this one's significantly better. It's not it's still not good, but it's a lot better than the last one. So obviously we're gonna save that one to the photo decks. I love this game, dude. <laughs> Alright, so a two-star Bidoof is a new one. Definitely photo decks status. Not too shabby. The Bidoof file looks pretty good, though. Like, as far as pictures go, like, the Boofalent is pretty good. If that's how you say that. Boofalent. Whatever. Uh, but the Bidoof, I think, is also pretty good. 
Magikarp. Two star, it's a new one. I think that's a pretty solid pick. It's not quite centered. I wish it was a little bit better centered, but... Oh, this is terrible. Don't even... Don't even talk about it. It's the worst. It's sad that it's not even... Like, as far as score goes, it's not even that much worse. It's only like 135 points worse. And it's completely, you know, back-turned. But... Just goes to show how terrible that first picture really was, I guess. <laughs> All right, your photos are getting your photos get better and better. Okay. I don't think there are really any new ones that I want to save to the uh, the album. So I think I'm gonna go back. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Hey professor, it's been a while. It's Todd. The worst part is I knew this moment was coming cuz the internet spoiled it for me. But Todd, guys, Todd. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokémon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokémon on camera? Way to go. That's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked you to do or what I asked you to? I sure did. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentil, too. Huh. <laughs> no kidding. Whoa. Oh, is that the new pod you put together? It reminds me of the good old days. So, Todd, for anybody who's not familiar, I'm like 99.9% 99 .9 sure. Uh, I don't know if he had a name back in the day. But Todd was the original character from the original Pokemon Snap. He's got the same haircut and everything still. Okay. <laughs> but hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. <sighs> Dweeb. Phil. So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, now. Easy there, Phil. Yeah, easy there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in the uh, in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about how about I send Phil with you instead? No. Yep. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome. Yes, yeah, awesome. You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Ah, uh, oh, fine. But if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And, uh, so yeah, what's an ecological survey? Uh, Phil. I don't like him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now that you're all here, so like... Listen up, team. Phil I'm struck me as this twerpy little kid. But now that he's standing next to me, I'm realizing that I'm also a twerpy little kid in this game. And so is Rita. And Todd and uh, Professor Mirror are the only actual adults we've seen so far. This is Florio Island, our home, sweet home, blah blah blah. The circled spot right here is our camp. Also. But this survey will take us past these shores. Mm. And this will be our first destination. The jungle. Hey, so. Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. Wow. This island showed up in the travelogue, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon here too. In fact, come on, come on already. Let's get this survey thing started. Agreed. Fair enough. Anyway, enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Let's do it. So that'll actually be where we pick up next time. New area unlocked. Thanks. Okay, so we got the Florio Nature Park down here. 
And then we have the, uh, the Foundja. Oh, that's not even creative. The Foundja jungle. Get it? Like, Foundia. Foundja jungle. The sweet scent of fruits and plants envelops this verdant jungle. Okay, so that's what we'll pick up next time. I'm gonna run back here one more time. And we're gonna hit this, uh, Illumina spot. Just to see if level 2 brings any new opportunities. Because if I can snag some, like, 4-star photos before we sign off, that would be ideal. And then next episode, next week, we will, uh, we'll move forward into the jungle. The Foundja jungle. Eevee. Yo, Eevee. So wait, 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 wait. Are we gonna get like a... Awesome. Smack dab in the middle. Oh boy, is he gonna be commentating? Wait, can this Eevee do that though? Like, is the Eevee going to interact with the crystal, whatever? The crystal skull? Eevee! Is, is Eevee also glowing? Eevee, why won't you turn around, dude? Man, you always get the best shots. Yeah, I'll say. Um, I did mean to turn up the sensitivity. Where did Evie go? Evie's just chilling back there. So Evie is left behind. Okay. Um... Is this literally just all there is in this level, no matter, or this course? I guess, regardless of like whether or not what level you are. But Eevee's here now too, though. So if I hit level three or whatever, will Eevee have a buddy? <laughs> or maybe Eevee will also become an Illumina? An Illumina Eevee, is that a thing? What am I looking for? Oh, Ancient Ruins? I don't know if I was supposed to take pictures of those or not. But I figured, why not, right? Is Eevee gonna catch up? Or nah? Nah. Alright, the Neo 1 is all set to return. So we're gonna teleport back in our Neo 1, and uh, we'll check it out. We'll check those pictures out that we just took. I don't know if there's really anything to see, but there are only two Pokemon photographed. Only two in the freaking world. Uh, oh, so we got one and three stars of it, though. But only one of these pictures is actually worth anything, I think. See, this is a good, a genuinely good picture of Eevee. But these are all pictures of, like, three-star Eevee. Whatever, we're gonna go with the one-star. I wish you could select, like, if you have a one-star and a three-star, I wish you could select one of each. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. So it's 
Number eight is a one star picture. I think we're gonna go with number eight. In ancient ruins. Does it matter? I'll just do number four, I don't know. I feel like it was too zoomed in, I feel like I missed something. Like, the, the less zoomed in ones seemed like better pictures of the ruins. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be like, oh, it's kind of far away, maybe you should zoom in next time. Whatever. I think that's a pretty solid picture of Eevee. It could be a little bit bigger, but... Overall, I think it was pretty solid. So the first pick of Eevee for the photo decks. Another new one. Ooh, that's a really good picture. Bada bing, bada boom. All the pictures are going to be from that one course for that one. Yeah, it does. I was going to say, I don't think it matters. I don't think it even rates you or, like, scores you on the actual picture for those. Like, the uh, the crystal blooms and the, uh, the ruins, they don't even... They just acknowledge that, like, boom, you did see it. You did take a picture of it. Uh, it doesn't care. The, the game doesn't care how good of a picture it actually is. Your photos get better and better. I'll make sure our research keeps up with your progress. Uh, I think we're good to go. All right, so that's where we'll sign off this week on the Let's Play. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications when I do live streams and uh, when I upload and premiere new video content such as this here in new Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, make sure to smash that like button for me here on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.